Every good beef stew always starts with a good piece of beef. That's the reason I always pick out a chuck roast instead of buying that chopped up stuff they try to say at the grocery store. Most of the time you're getting some scraps in there with that. Let's make a beef stew. Let's get started. See here, I got this chuck roast all trimmed and cut up. You want to look for one that's got a lot of white marbling in it. It's going to be tender. I got rosemary, thyme, and Italian parsley. I'm fixing to pull this off the stems and dice it up. All right, I put my meat in this gallon Ziploc bag, freezer bag. I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon. A tablespoon of a coarse ground black pepper and salt blend. And this is about a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're just gonna sprinkle that all in there. The fresh herbs. About a quarter, a little less than a quarter cup of flour. I'm gonna seal it up, shake it real good. I got enough olive oil in here to cover the bottom of the pan. Now this is about two and a half pounds of stew meat. So I'm gonna add about half of it at a time and just sear it. All right, I got the meat browned. It took about five minutes for each batch. I got it pulled out. About two and a half cups of baby portobello mushrooms chopped up. One large onion chopped up. And two cups of chopped up celery. About three cups of chopped up carrots. All right, we let that cook a little while. Now we're gonna move this to the big pot. One six ounce can of tomato sauce. Two one and a half ounce packs of beef stew mix. I like McCormick's. Add your meat back in. Add 32 ounces of beef broth and then fill this back up with water to cover everything. You got it stirred in, go put the lid on, let it simmer about an hour and a half, then we'll add the potatoes. This is about two and a half pounds of potatoes or two really big bacon potatoes. We're gonna put the lid back on, let it simmer for another hour and a half. Y'all look here. This is the best beef stew recipe I've got. I think you'll like it. I just started a YouTube channel Y'all can go and subscribe to it from my bio page. Just hit the play button. Thank y'all.